carry the force be with you. <laughs> I'm going in. Alright. Good seeing you, buddy. There you go. You're like Toy, S Toy Story. What? You're like Toy Story. <laughs> give you my hundred bucks. I got it right in the truck. You what? So what are we working on, Jason? Uh, we're utilizing one of these do-it-yourself gas-filled doors. Okay. This is really, this is race car stuff, Mark. Race car. Race car. So stuff. we got a race car truck going here, we, right? Uh, we're we're in the big leagues now. We're dealing with race car parts. Like anybody that's anybody deals with race car parts. And uh, yeah, so I think we're uh, we're doing race car parts too now. Mark, our day has come. We are on the map. We have race car parts. Nice. It's a cool little kit that, they, that you get. Um, it's really a setup for these uh, induced fasteners. We're gonna figure out something better than the than the Zeus fastener for everyday use. I mean, it's great if you just got a, you know, a penny or a nick, a uh, penny or a quarter or something on hand that will fit in there. It's like a penny or a dime will fit in there, and that's it. Um, so we are gonna we're gonna re Refinagle it. Re-engineer it. Yeah. For everyday applications. For everyday Mark style application. Excellent. Jason's creating the gas cap angle. Which is shaking his head and saying, no, it's not gonna work. Jason is making a mess. This is what Jason is doing. And it's getting worse as we go. I think we're going to have to do this in two halves. Hey everyone, we're going to do a quick walk around tour. I got this fancy Milwaukee. I feel like I'm like in Star Wars or something. Like, force me with you. Anyway, I've been using this. Clean out all the shavings in the boxes. But let's walk around and I want to show you what we've gotten accomplished so far. We're going to start right here with this beautiful race door. Purchased this basically on eBay. It pre-cut out and basically did all the rivets. I'm going to show you the box in the back that Jason folded up last night. He got all squared away in there, which is where the fuel fill is going to actually connect to. And then we're going to go look at the other side. While we're here, you can see we got the bullet lights back in. I actually changed them out because our two-inch trim actually sits on top of this. So we'll be hiding those original holes for the lights. And this is a new placement. So let's go ahead and take a quick walk. So we have the fuel fill right here, a little close up. And then basically, so you can get this a little better. This is the box that was made up. And then the fuel fill will actually attach right to that angle there. So pretty, pretty cool. Little things like that, really amazing. So let's go ahead and walk around to the other side. So this side here, we have our rear door all set up. The new placement with the marker lights, a little bit lower, and then the front door. So all that's pretty much finished. We're just waiting for some high density foam rubber in order to place there. Caulk the inside of the boxes, and then just get some of the electrical wiring finished up for the marker lights. So that's how things are coming. The sides, for the most part, just about complete.
So we got some high density foam. It's a one eighth here, pretty thin. Jason's jamming out over there. Hi, Jason. Oh, hi, guys. He's getting ready to weld the bracket. You filming a video? Yeah, filming a video, Jason. Oh, okay. He's doing the uh, bracket for the uh, air compressor of the airbags. So, uh, but I'm doing high density foam. This is one inch by one eighth, and just putting it along the edge here. So, now one of the easiest ways to put this on is, you know, I just cut it. But when you get your first little section started, and then basically just pull this down, so that way you're able to kind of keep everything in line as to where you want it to go. This is the little bracket here for the air compressor for the airbags. Sit right in there. And then this is our fancy new stainless steel fuel filler neck. Which got tigged today. Pretty awesome. So we got the stainless steel pipe extension welded in here, and we're gonna test this and see how it's really tight, but we gotta work with what we have. So see how this works with the factory top fill along with the custom added pipe. Teresa, what are you doing? I, I'm trying to figure out why my husband's underwear are being used for um, cleanup rags because it's kind of disturbing. Disturbing? A little bit. A little bit disturbing. Oh, jeez. What do you got to do with that? Um, okay. Oh, you really want to know what I'm doing. So, Mark has asked me to go around to all the seams on the inside of these storage boxes and to clean them. Okay. Because he is going to come behind me with the caulk and he's going to seal them. So we want it to be clean so that the caulk adheres nicely. And that's what I'm doing with Mark's underwear. I can't even say that with a straight face. Mark's underwear. Tracy's cleaning the surfaces currently with the prep saw so that we can do the bed liner coating on the aluminum around the wheels. Yours today. Yep. I'll put the link in the description below. All right, I'm taking this piece of aluminum, it's 1 8th, and I'm actually gonna do a 90 degree bend to make a light bracket for inside the tool boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it in here, put it on my line, go ahead and push on the pedal to clamp it down. And then from there, basically just go ahead and raise it up and get a little 90, make sure it's right a little bit past. And that's it, let it down, lift up my pedal, Pull it out, there we have it.
All right, so what we have going on, basically we're going to be applying some Soka Flex to these edges. This is the uh, PG tube, typically used for windows. So we're going to give it a try, see how it works out. Uh, our frames have the Z bar, correct? Z bar. Yep. And uh, the whole idea with that is that basically when these doors open, the Z bar just minimizes water. If it gets in, it can basically it's going to run down instead of going straight in. So. You still need a seal, but not as much of a seal. And then what we've done, because of our framing and with our steel frame design, we've actually applied the aluminum braces so this frame can attach to that. So we're going to apply this Sika Flex, put it in, and then from there we'll be able to attach from the back side. Is that about right? We're going to clamp it first, and then we'll, uh, we'll let the glue stick for a bit, and then we'll water up. Full send. Full send. It's nice to try to get a consistent bead around here, and we want to keep right in the corners. It is going to squish out, so the better we do about not bobbing it on too bad, the easier it will be for Mark to clean up later. Alright, so now we have that done. All right, so he has that in. Next up, put the clamp in. So we have going on here, we have the clamps keeping everything in place and keeping the pressure on. Jason's doing a couple spot welds with uh, aluminum on the back sides right now before he just does a little bit more finishing touches. And then basically once that happens, then he can we can start to pull off the clamps.